Birch trees are symbolic of fresh perspectives and are considered a pioneer species, critical to the regeneration of forests. With its striking white bark that peels off in sheets, Betula papyrifera, or paper birch, like this one, were used by the Native Americans to make canoes. The sap from the paper birch contains methyl salicylate, otherwise known as oil of wintergreen, which has long been used as a pain reliever. Hummingbirds use the bark to make their nests, while songbirds can find insects to eat in the clusters of flowers called catkins. Native to the Northern Hemisphere and parts of Asia, the birch has long been a symbol of birth and new beginnings. In colonial days, they would adorn the houses of newlyweds with sprigs of birch to better their chances of conception. And when babies did come along, they would surely be rocked to sleep in cradles made from, you guessed it, birch wood. Now, if we want to go back a little bit further, say around 11,000 years ago, some believe that birch were among the first species to reemerge after the Great Ice Age. White bark birches have become incredibly important in the landscape, uh, primarily because they offer several seasons of interest. Um, dappled shade during the growing season, a very interesting yellow fall color, and then it also offers uh, winter interest all through the dormant season uh, with very attractive white bark. It also really tolerates a fairly wide range of conditions and soil types. The white bark birches typically tolerate, um, you know, droughtier conditions over, over soil saturation. I do recommend removing the turf and, and giving the plant a substantial mulching just to help reduce the, uh, the damage created by uh, mowing crews and mulching crews and so forth. Um, because that is the most important part uh, of our plant. Historically, our top concerns with any of the white bark birches would be bronze birch borer and birch leaf miner. This specific tree here, we were called out today to review this tree uh, because they had had some dieback in the upper canopy. Um, that, that, was, um, that was essentially from some exit holes of bronze birch borer that had created some dieback in the upper canopy. Um, Bronze birch borer typically attacks the upper central canopy first. Uh, this particular tree had two large diameter low branches that had begun essentially to outcompete the central leader as a result of the pest population in the upper canopy. Um, so we were called out today to remove those dead branches and make some, some lightweight reduction pruning cuts on these two large low branches. Um, we are also gonna treat for bronze birch borer um, with a systemic soil injection later on this season uh, to essentially protect for next year's bronze birch borer. Uh, and then we, are, we, we did collect some soil samples from this particular plant. Uh, the soil pH was acceptable, but we were, uh, we were low in, in uh, uh, magnesium sulfate and potassium sulfate, as well as boron. Um, so we'll be uh, addressing that this fall when soil moisture conditions are ideal. I really appreciate that Bartlett Tree Experts takes care of my beautiful white birch tree. In fact, this white birch is the whole reason we were attracted to this property in the first place. In addition, their tree and shrub care plan allows me the convenience of taking care of my entire property on an annual basis.